Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Persona 5 Royale Part 18. In the previous video, we went back into the Memento area again a little earlier than I expected because there's this Mishimi kid and he like fucking loves us so much and he was like, please go back into Memento. So I said, okay, please don't stab me in 30 hours with your weird obsessive compulsion. So we're, we're going to figure out what we want to do tonight. We can't talk to Shujiro. We can't go outside. So we basically can only study, clean, or... Uh, well, that's pretty much it. I guess we're going to study. I guess we some better judgment. Now listen. What do you want to do? Make sure you're Maybe we'll just instantly go from rank 2 to rank 3 hey, within hey. one study session. Maybe. I mean, stranger things have happened. Hire yourself out if you keep at it for too long. 6.2? 6.1? Try and steal it, assets? But like, come on, man. We've been doing good work. It looks like you're attending school seriously. I don't want you to ever talk to me. You also seem pretty close with Takamaki-san if you're both coming to school together. You just transferred here, though. I guess you two really click. Oh, it's Ribbon Girl. Can I talk to Ribbon? Actually, no, I don't want to talk to Ribbon Girl. She's like a secret Terminator. Um, we're in the same class. I see. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. We're only a rank two. We're not really in there. I don't even know if I want to be in there, but we're definitely not in there. I heard she was a victim of Mr. Kamashita. But was that all there was to it? Either way, closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. Okay, weirdo. Ahem. Exam start tomorrow, are you ready? Well, now then, begin? picking up from last time, the end of the Heian period marks the rise of the samurai, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for, you fucking weebs. I guess if you live here in Japan, you wouldn't be a weeb, but still, you know what I mean, you degenerate. As described in the tale of the whatever or nothing, it was a time when all that was great would fall from grace. It wasn't unusual for the heroes of yesterday to be struck down as rebels of the present day. By the way, sympathizing with the loser of the weak is called the magistrate's patronage. Term came from Miyamoto no Yoshisun's position. It became a way of referring to him as well. All right, cheese coon That's me. I don't know who this you fucking know guy answer? is. You know the time period Yoshitsune was active in? I'm, I'm fucking... Okay, you said... You said the Heian period came to an end. The end of the Heian period. So... I'm gonna be honest, I've never heard of the Muramachi period. I have heard of the Kamakura period, so I'm gonna go with that. Hmm. No. That is incorrect. He supported his brother. But you just said the end of the Heian period, which would imply that what we were talking about is not the Heian period. Okay, I guess it's like we're talking about the end of it, but like my assumption was uh we were talking about the years after this ended. Despite his contributions in defeating the Tyra, he was ultimately driven out by his brother and executed. However, the centuries that followed, Yoshitsune became more popular as a tragic hero. I knew he wouldn't get it right. You didn't get it fucking right either. Duh, I mean, he's... Crap, he's just looking at us. Rather than side him with the one who has overwhelming power, people prefer the underdog opposing them. It's sort of like rooting for a minor league baseball team instead of an all-star major league one. I understand that. It's like, if I don't root for them, then who will? Rigged ass question. What are your thoughts? I mean, it's like, the thing that makes me mad is it wasn't even rigged. It was just, I don't know. Because, I mean, the answer was in the question, but... I'm never going into Memento. Are you crazy? What you up to? Still in the hallway. No think, only Ryuji. Yo. Hey. 
It won't deepen? Dude, I'm gonna fucking beat you up. Nah. Oh, come on. What are you guys doing? You're right. What do you think else that caught your attention? Was he acting any different after that strange posting went up? Uh, I think he was the same as always. I'm not sure. I think he's dangerous. I'll try and keep a distance from him. Yeah, you better think I'm dangerous. Hmm. Other students can say the same thing. Okay, we'll look at it. Will you level up? Kind of hard to do by myself. You train with me. We'll go stronger. Okay, so free level up with Anne. Not a free level up with me. I mean, I like Ryuji more, but... Getting, I'm leaving you on red. Anything we can do on Tuesdays? I don't think so. Yo, hey. Um. Wanna get going? Didn't we already do a filler day with you? But dudes just don't like us. See ya. Ah, you're back. Talk to you. Yeah. Oh. PR report. I have a report as your strategic image management representative. Just thought of a new way to help you out. You want me to tell you about it? Do you have time today? What are your thoughts? You want to meet up with Mishima? Leave it to me. I don't know, man. You're kind of like a nerd. <laughs> I'm leaving that on red. Sam's are coming up soon. You're not uh, getting a jump on the study without me, right? Right? If you want to do it, you want to do it together. I'm just in serious trouble. Oh, uh, well, in hindsight, we should have not hanged out with you and then studied. Almost like want to reload. I, I kind of do want to reload, get that question right, and then do that differently. But whatever. It's a learning process. You know, we're not, we just know we're not going to be a... Uh, Super efficient. Doom's partner? Bloom? My my other O, please. It's very sick. Gloom plant disease. Dull pain. That would be an ache. What are the May blues? Influenza. No. Allergy? No. A blues? I don't even know what that means. I mean, we have gloom, ache, and a plant disease. Dry rot. I mean, that does actually kind of fit, but we don't have a D or an R or Y or a, a other stuff. Plant disease. I don't know anything about plants. No, 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 keep trying. No, that's what I want to get race. May blues. So we have gloom, ache, and a plant disease. Side. No. What are plant diseases? Termites. God. Uh. I feel, I feel like I have. I, I just don't know what the hell. I don't know any plant diseases, and I don't know what May blues are. Sullen. So, so, ah, uh, mild, blue, black, tea, tolerance, mild, no, 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 I keep going. 
go. Something, something L. May blues. Depression. Rain. Stuff. Like what? I don't. I don't know, man. Okay. I'm just gonna try allergy. Cause maybe, maybe this is an ache. Cause I mean, that's what I said first. Wait, can we even fit this? Allergy. No, never mind. That doesn't fit. Cause there's no R, right? There's no Y either. Okay, so that probably is ache then. I thought I maybe had it. Uh, hey, okay. malaise, malaise. That's the word, malaise. I don't know how that's the May Blues, but in Japan, the May Blues are named as such due to the change of seasons and the number of people who fall ill after the long holiday at April's ends. Similar terms are used across the world. Students in the USA get the September Blues. Okay, as someone from the USA, nobody fucking says that shit. After summer vacation, while the UK has January Blues to contend with. Like, I've, nobody has ever said the phrase September Blues. All right. I see. That's just, that's not a thing that exists, and the game will not gaslight me into believing that. Nice. Okay. Hey. I don't know what I want to do. Might go... I guess we're going to go with the dang beef bowl again. I'm going to give that a shot. Let's see if we can talk to... Speaker man. I still don't know what the other... Uh, prompt on the thing was supposed to be though. I don't know any plant diseases. Oh. What did you say? There's a ton of customers coming in all of a sudden. My dude's not here. I'm gonna be bombarded with orders at this rate. Make sure you memorize them all. What medium? Who? I don't know what that is. Okay, a medium, a large, a medium barbecue bowl, large beef bowl. Okay. Yes. Stay calm. Remember the orders. First person, medium this. Mm -hmm. Second person, large this. Hey. Second person, medium barbecue. Nice. Fourth one, I have no fucking clue. I was not paying attention. Beef bowl. Well. You. There we go. Okay. I was like, I didn't see you at first, and I was like, ah, oh, do I have to talk to you again first? Gonna have a difficult time there. What? I was zoned in. I'm earning my minimum wage keep. Can't you ask your manager to hire more people? You are extremely busy. Employees being overworked is becoming a real problem in this workplace. That's concerning. Mm. I should remember this. Well then, I'll see you. Again. I'll leave my payment here. Thank you for the food. Hey, hey! Isn't that the politician who gives speeches in front of the station? You just worry about employees in the workplace, huh? Well, I think you know who you are now. You should go to the station square again sometime soon. My. Whoa, good work. It seems there are a lot of customers today, but you handle it well on your own. We were as crowded today as we were usually on Yakinuku Yaki Yaki Day. I wonder if there was some event happening nearby. In advance. I paid you a little extra. A little extra for extra. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke that we manager types learn to lighten the mood. Are we loaded? You were amazing today dealing with so many orders. It sure was rough. I think you'll handle it all quite proficiently. Uh, well, guess we should go home soon. Six point six point one six point oh five point nine. Yo, Mashimi, what the hell, man? You need to be moderator, not that discontent. 
can't believe this is cool. Assembly? Assembly during exam week? The hell are they thinking? It's raining, man. This is a perfect day for studying. It's the day after tomorrow, right? I wonder if it's going to be about Mr. Kamishita again. I can't believe the school is messing with our schedules like this. I do not care what it's about. It's going to have nothing to do with those students. I wish they'd stop dragging us into this mess. Seems pretty rough. Mandatory assembly during exam week. Sounds rough for all of you. No, that's great, man. Mandatory assembly means no class. Well, shall we begin? Let the first day of exams begin. Which historical figure inspired the idiom of favoring the magistrate? It was Yoshinitsu. Yeah, soon. Ooh, we can do this. Why aren't you cheating for me? Mm. An essay question? Looks tough. Let's calm down and think it through. Provide the reason why Minamoto no Yushitsun is viewed as a hero. He had a brother, right? I think his name was... Fuck, I was not paying attention. Yo, is my, does my log go far enough back? Oh god. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, it was a brother. So, it would assume it would be the same last name. I feel like it wasn't this, but like my my brain is these are the same names. Okay. Yoshi Yoshitsune worked under Yorimo, Yoritomo and he did a lot for his brother. He ended up coming into conflict in the end, and they had to oppose each other. The dude died, right? Fuck. The idea is to explain why he's viewed as a hero. I think his name was Oh. oh, I said one. I thought they said lost. Yeah, Yoshitsune committed suicide after being exiled by, his, exiled by his brother. Even though he lost, Yoshitsune went down in history as a hero. Probably because people tend to sympathize less with figures in power and sympathize more with the weak. Yeah, not as any weak person, though. People love rooting for an underdog, and it stands up to powerful oppressors, and Yoshitsune did that to his brother. But the reason Yoshitsune is treated as a hero is because he stood up against the powerful Yoritomo. Yep. Ahem. Hey, I mean, I feel like we got that wrong, but I guess we got it right. Maybe for that one you have, like, you can, like, mess up a couple times. Put down your pencils and put your hands on your desk. Some dude desperately can't focus because all he hears is meow, 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 meow. Let's get started. Today is the second day of exams. You may begin. The brain function is responsible for the phenomenon of seeing an illusion in this figure. Uh, co cognition? Ooh, that sounds do about right. I still don't. I mean, a couple people did comment and saying that, like, they see it as different. I'm like, I. No matter how I look at it, it just looks the same length to me. I don't. That's very weird. Which of the following maps can you paint without any adjacent areas being the same color? Uh, both. They said like all maps, right? Ooh, we can do this. Okay, class. Let's Does everyone have a test? Then you may begin. Name the book that I find Malfiactor is the chief factor in the progress of the human race. Ah, shit, that's like the very first question. Digital Devil Story. Uh, the Devil's Dictionary. Ooh, we can do this. That sounds about right. Which character archetype refers to a mysterious and seductive woman, typically with ulterior motives? Bring a crone. Them fade off. We can do this. By God, his knowledge, it knows no bounds. We're approaching triple digit IQ. Go out assembly at this time of the year? Really? Think we can bring our flashcards in? I'm a sheet is just one of the many things wrong with this school. Like the math class. We gotta go home and study. Kamashita is still causing us trouble even when he's gone. Since that specific incident, many of you have voiced concerns that I could not bear to ignore. And I'll have you know, the King's men did everything they could to put me back together. But I will have no more talk about it. We believe the mental health of our student body is absolutely...
absolutely vital. So we've acquired the services of a therapist. The floor is yours, Doctor. Isn't he hot? It's nice to meet you all. Whoa, his voice is sexy. Is it? My name is... Huh? My name is Takuto Maruki. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. Oh my god. No need to be formal with me though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. My dude got soloed by a mic. Please get a better mic, Yo. gang. You ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our schools made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. Uh, Dr. What's his name? Uh, Maruki or something. Maruki. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? You really think he'll do us any good? Are you G? Hey there. Heard you were talking shit. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you... Yeah, go on, say it. How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Why? Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. Yeah, and I heard about how you, how you stabbed that guy to death. I think I'd end up in a castle. A castle? <laughs> you know, sometimes you just gotta make them sweat. You idiot! <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, looks like this guy didn't get much sleep last yeah, night. Sometimes you gotta keep him on the toes. So, what do you want with us? Ah, uh, yes, I had forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? No. Nope, not at all. Huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah, but if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. You do know the school just had like a rampant case of some dude sexually harassing people. I don't know if inviting people to private meetings in your office where there'll be free snacks is really like good optics. All you can eat would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? Tell me more of these snacks, Dr. Man. Hey, don't fall for that. Yes, but you see, we don't have much money for snacks. To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interest. For its students. To not sue them. Ah, the school's interest, huh? I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Who knows? You might even get a social link with me. Ooh, I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams, or not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? Or how to grab that eraser with the teacher is chunking at you. Uh... Mental training. I made good use of this and may aid in our Phantom Thieves activities. There's also snacks. Mmm, snacks. Alright, alright, enough with the snacks. So, which way are you leaning? Snacks. <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm, yeah. Plus the snacks. Really? Then, I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. 
Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. Don't give them any of the snacks, all right? Those are all mine. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. Made a deal with Marky. So these snacks were the secret of your powers, I hear. It's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. Maybe we're just smarter than you. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Maybe we're just fucking built different, lady. Give me a name. You ever think about that? I am thou. thou Maybe we just got that raw zoomer energy or something. It shall become the what are you? What would you be? Thy chains of captivity. I don't know. I can't. Son. Uh, the of the counselor. What the hell? I have a That's not one of them. Of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. I'm like the counselor confidant. So hold up, dude. Snacks. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. Okay, quiet down. I have an addendum to the early assembly regarding the counseling you've all been offered. Counsel will be available to you starting after school today in the nurse's office. Dr. Maraki will only be posted here through November, so be sure to speak with him as soon as you feel the need. Okay, November. I was like, uh, for a second, I was, uh, because it, it's actually, you know, in October in real life. And I'm like, damn, we only have like a few days to try and max this dude out, but, you know, it's only May in game. For the majority of you, it's your choice whether or not you see him, but there are a few students I'll speak with later. Schools decided visits to Dr. Maraki will be mandatory for these individuals. What? Yo, you guys gonna go for it? What, the counseling? I don't think they're being forced to. I told Marky I'd do it, but I don't know if I'm really into that idea, you know? Well, I mean, there's not much choice. Yeah, I better not draw any more attention to ourselves. I think we're gonna try going today. Hmm. Plus, he did promise snacks and stat boost. And snacks. Adion's right. Make sure you visit him so you don't draw any attention to yourself, okay? Um, I don't have a counselor for some. Yes. You're not me. Welcome. Are you here for your counseling session? Yeah, it's now a bad time. Where are the fucking snacks, dude? <laughs> not at all. It's always a good time, so long as I'm not already listening to a student. I'm glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? Well, apple juice. Shall we begin? I don't even really like apple juice, but... Oh, but first, just relax, alright? I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Sure. Well, I really have one thing about mine right now, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say that makes perfect sense. But don't force yourself into talking with me. You could even grab some snacks and be on your way if you wanted. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Unless... Please, I'm very busy. Get out of my office. No, uh, it's alright. I know I need to talk to someone about this anyway. This is just if you're willing to listen to a super long story. I absolutely am. Take all the time you need. This is kind of neat. Getting to see, like, the... Side characters on their own. See, that's a horrible thing to do to someone. That's why I wanted to get even with him for Shio. And... <sighs> At first I thought Kamashita ought to face the same fate Shio was going to put herself through. But... But... All right. Later I realized that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo Shio's suffering. In fact, it just gave him the easy way out. Right. That's so. You know, you are quite the wise, level-headed young woman, Takamaki-san. 
Uh, I think you got the wrong... No. In fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. I wasn't aware you're near... I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. It's not like I did anything special, though. I hadn't gone through with my own share of hell. I don't think I'd be so mature, mature either. I see. So what's on your mind now? Hmm, right now... I'm just hoping Shield will get better quickly. I both suffered a lot, but... I just want to get back to laughing and having fun together like we used to. At this point, I don't give a rat's ass about Kamoshida. Yeah. And there's a healthy outlook. You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, it sounds about right. I mean, it'd definitely be better if none of this happened at all, but... Quite. I definitely agree with you there. But it's impossible to wipe every tragedy from history. Yeah. If only, right? Everyone would be so much happier if we could actually do that. Seems a lost track of time. We should wrap things up here for today. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Thank you. I feel a ton better now that's all from my chest. Be careful, okay? Good to hear it. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by again anytime. Okay, I'm gonna get going. Well, I went in for counseling. We're going soon too, right? Uh, how'd it go? Hmm, well, honestly, it wasn't as rough as I was expecting. I think you should go and give it a shot. Dr. Mark is easier to talk to than you think. See you tomorrow. Hmm. Didn't you have a counseling appointment? Okay. It's, I guess we have to go. I mean, I was going to go anyway, but... How are you? Oh, God. It's the freaking Terminator. Ah, hello. Are you here for a session as well? Me too, huh? Yes. That's correct. Dr. Mark, he is a wonderful counselor. I've been programmed to say that. I've actually been seeing him for a while before he even came to Shujin. Uh -huh. I didn't know you two were acquainted. Don't go over selling me too hard though. Yoshi's always on. I'm nothing, I'm really nothing special. <laughs> I need to get going. Please excuse me. Must find John Connor. All right then. Let's say we get started. Welcome. Thank you for coming. We made a deal. <laughs> well, try to make sure it's worth the trouble. I see. Hmm, thank you. I think I've gotten a good grasp of the situation you're in, Chizukun. Well, full disclosure, the school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here and how you killed that guy. Doing okay now. Ah, oh, but you weren't before, I take it. Hmm, try not to put yourself too hard, okay? So... Now that you've told me some more about yourself, I think I've realized something. Seems like you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world with your external one. I should note, that's really truly impressive. Even most adults can't reality manage that. I don't know what the hell that means, dude. How to put it, you know how everyone has an internal reality, some conception of themselves they're striving for? For example. Like wanting to be a model student, or wanting to be loved and relied on, that kind of thing. But that idealized reality and the one in actuality are often far apart. That gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Not everyone can ace their exams, and not everyone can be the heroes they wish they could be. Hmm. We've already been through so much. That kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people up into dark places. But you, you're standing up to it and confronting a tough, painful reality. To me, that's incredibly admirable. Then again, maybe it's a little weird for you to hear from a guy you just met. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Don't beat around the bush. You're a funny guy, Chizukun. I'm sorry. I like to think so. Well, let's see. Sorry this went along longer than I expected. Well, the conversation just took on a life of its own, I guess. <sighs> say. You want some of the snacks? It's got nothing in it, I promise. I actually got one last request. Do you mind? You know, I... I'm actually doing certain research along with my duties as a counselor. It's not quite counseling, more like a type of psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts, what they think, how they feel. How about it? I get far enough with it, I think it'll be able to help a lot of people, so... Uh, I mean, I'll need more details. Uh, sorry. Uh, I guess my point is, I'd like to ask you to help with that research. All I'd have you do is listen to my theories and then tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on your end. Please, anytime's good for me. I can work around your schedule. 
I, uh, I've got a lot of snacks, too. You can have them. They're yours. Why me, though? Well, to be honest, sometimes I hit a wall in my research. I've been working on it alone, but some second opinions from a perspective like yours could really push it forward. And don't worry, I promise I'll repay you for it. Well... Let's see, I don't know, maybe I could teach you some tips for mental training? I happen to know a lot on the subject. I'm sure I can cook up a special regimen for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure I could, you could draw your full potential. Thank you. I guess that's our second deal. I like my bond with Mariki is growing deeper. Hey, when Joker is inflicted with an ailment, he may recover immediately. All right. The power of gun. Yeah, all right, I may be sick, but I have this gun. I know. Oh, you inflicted the flu on me? Joke's on you. I'll just kill myself. All right, wouldn't it be okay if we traded contact information? I'll contact you when you've got time, or I need some input from you. I should do it. Now. I better do my part to repay you. Let's talk about mental training and presence. Let's see, first off, make this apple juice. All right. Our max SP increased by five. Oh, and here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Well, see you. Thank you for your help today. I'll see you around school. I mean, 5 SP, that's that's something. Man. Been a long time talking to Marky. Look how late it is. Well, if you think the sessions are worthwhile, you should try and keep going. Good night. Well, we definitely get some sleep for now. Tomorrow's your last day of exams, right? Mm. Wait, can I not? Let's go okay. to bed. All right, you're making me go to bed. What well, if I want to watch TV? I want to watch TV. Let's do it. I gotta go to bed early so I can be rested up for my exam. Well then. Five point eight, five point seven. Is this some kind of cult? Yes. Please give me your money. <sighs> so sleepy. <sighs> I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today is the last day of exams. Staying up studying? Well, I mean, really, I was just watching TV with my book open, but... Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. Based? How manly. Eh, it's what I always do. No matter how many times I fail, nothing's gonna change. Uh, morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. <laughs> Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. <gasps> Impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from the stupid monkey I know. Huh? Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. He's got a point. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. That is also true. It's about the it's about the smoothness of the wrinkliness of it, you know? What was that? I mean, whales have giant brains, yet they can't do any fucking calculus, idiots. Is it evil guy? Am I imagining things? Or is it chickadee? <laughs> the bathroom? Huh? No. Well, I mean, you know. What? You see a groper or something? No, that's not it. It's nothing. Oh, anime cutscene. Hang. Oh my god, that guy got off. Isn't this bad? <laughs> hey, at least act like you care. <sighs> Fine. Come on. Huh? We like planting a trap. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the dude we saw. 
Yeah, that kind of looks like him. Uh, hmm. Hey, uh, are you sure it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that- Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me ever since the train! Well, that's because... I mean, they could just go in the same direction. I mean, he is stalking us, but that's not necessarily the evidence. I had wondered why you left oh, and your guy. So this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> well, that laugh was... I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. Uh-huh, yeah, a likely story. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay... As a reminder, we all have guns. What? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? Sounds like stalking to me. W wait a minute, I... Be the model for my next art piece. M model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. You're just, you know, jealous. Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? Yeah, that or sex trafficking. Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? Which I guess is a pretty shady business. <laughs> Hold your horses. Who are you anyways? Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. Um. I'm Madarame Sensei's pupil, and I am being allowed residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Madarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The guy who, like, we're gonna freaking send to the Shadow Realm in a couple weeks, probably? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. Uh, but we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Ixne on the Mentos day. Yusuke. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame? Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Reed? Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. <laughs> that guy's as easy to read as a book. Unfortunately, you can't read those, Ryuji. You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. Crap, but look at the time. I'll see you later. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? Yeah, that's how you become acquainted with most people. That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's true that Matarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. Spoilers. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? Built different. Don't talk to cops. Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. 
Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Yeah, but that was probably Morgana's fault. So, I mean, that's like before our time. You can't blame us for that. Were you related to those as well? Don't talk to fucking cops, lady. I see. <clears throat> Fine. Let's get back to Madarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Okay, you're probably going to be in this room for at least another 10 hours before we uh, wrap that up. Bare minimum. Hmm. Today's the last day of exams, huh? Seems like some of those are kind of tough. Yep. That uh, wasn't too bad. You should have gotten a decent score, right? Decent? I got every question right, you old. We're staying, we're staying. Oh, 5.6! I don't even know about the exams. You guys are going for ca or canceling? Counseling? Oh, the volleyball guy's getting called in. Shit, I got that question wrong. I know, right? I feel like I have to protect that teacher. It's over. It's over. <laughs> How about you? I mean, we should do okay. I'm feeling confident. <laughs> Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. I was dude on Rather the monitor. Focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? Yeah. There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know. Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. No, we don't. I want sushi then, or domestic raised eel. I want ramen. I still never don't got my ramen. Much left. Oh right, there are those tickets to Madarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. <coughs> Is it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? It's not like that. Oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? Mm, yeah, I'm curious. Hmm. Don't don't be mad at me. That aside, it's for the plot. What should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. You just want to stalk, Anne. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled, then. Should be fun. Just it will not be fun. Just going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Evening, my day, it's gone. Okay. I'm curious to know if this Madarame has anything to do with the name we heard of Mementos. Can't afford to be late tomorrow, better. My, my social life. My fake social life. No. So I keep thinking about what Nakanahara said. We even talking about the famous artist Madarame? Um, nice catch. Well, it's a pretty rare last name. Have you guys ever heard of someone else called Madarame? Well, no, but also I don't live in Japan, so. It's really not common at all. If what we heard is true, Kitagawa-kun is studying under a corrupt teacher. You mean a teacher who treats people like tools? Kitagawa-kun's life is probably pretty terrible. I don't look into this. Cause we're a shapeshifter. Well then. I'll be sure to escort Lady Anne tomorrow. Now then. You're a failure as a phantom thief. You can't discern good art from bad. Oh, let me. I actually okay. will let me. Oh wait, can I go downstairs actually? You made it sound like I couldn't. Oh, no, I can. I'll just add this. Okay, so we still have our evening. What do we want to do? 
It may not let us go outside, though. Hey. Yeah, okay. we can't go outside, but we can do an evening activity. Next up, entertainment. An exhibition featuring Japanese artist Madarame opens tomorrow in Shibuya. Anticipation for the exhibition is high, with special broadcasts on TV and great ticket sales. For real? Hey, it's that old guy. I didn't think he'd actually be famous. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll do some cleaning, I guess. Well, then. Oh. Going home now. Don't break anything in the store. Got it? Mm. That should do it for now. Incredible kindness. Holding steady at 5.8. What is this line for? Oh, the exhibition must be opening today. It's really packed. Want to come back another time? I want it, but it's so pricey. I should take out a loan. I want to see that. Let's go sometime together. So crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. Um, yeah. You really came. Yeah? What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. Have fun getting creeped on. Will Lady Han be alright? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? She can take care of herself. I told you not to come out. Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Mm, let's learn about Matarame. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? I don't know, man. There's an arrow. Hmm? Oh, there he is. It's that old man from the other day. Well, I mean, that's the guy. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? I uh, steal it. I mean, well, create it it's myself. It's rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart. Like bubbles rising one after another in a Okay, spring. so that's his thing, is that he just steals people's art from his students and then passes it off as his own, and that's why it looks like it's so many different styles. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> it's actually a bitchin' mansion. Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day. Oh god, art nerds, the worst type of nerds. There's way too many people. I'm getting crushed. Anyways, we got to head for the exit. Don't die on us, all right? No promises. I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. Yeah. He's special. Yeah. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. 
You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. All we really need to do is just trip him. He'll break a hip. Fucking done and dusted. Indeed. Oh, this is it. The painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger. I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. I don't sense that. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <sighs> Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this yeah. way. Hey! Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. Thanks to that, I remember now. About what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Bro, it's too far away. I can't see. You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways... And we usually got beat up by an old lady. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? Yep, seems very believable. I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Can't we do like an anonymous phone call, pretend we're some like reporters or something? Oh. Investigating a lead? Yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Oh, hell yeah. You see that? We did that like weird freaking pause and his like face all got stern. Yeah, he's mega sus. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? Damn right. We already know. Hey, Lady from the future told us. The whole modeling thing. Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. I don't think we're invited. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. And if you gotta do something to distract them, well, you know, have okay. fun. In any case, you need to find out the, about the rumor of Madarame is true or not. If it is, this might be exactly what we needed. Well then. Reminds me, the home shopping program's on home shopping. Home shopping. Allergy relief, calming masks, wide eye drops, cosmetic cure. Look at the cosmetic hey. cure. Bro, it's so expensive. It's got to be good. Another buyer just called in. Thank you so much. I feel like I got ripped off. Because I think the Omni Vitam was only like 4,000. Well, also reminds me. Can I feed my plant? Hey, hey. Okay. Serious care. Really gonna use that one? You must really care about this plant. Damn right, I care. I care so freaking much. Yes. 
I should do it for a while. Folks, Karen, Karen, person, care so much you may as well call me a Care Bear. <laughs> hey. Let me go outside. Quit chaining me up. I want to be untethered. I want to be unleashed on the world. Let's Bro, do it. Shoujiro, I can never hang out with you anymore. Hmm. We'll go ahead and call it here. I'm trying to think of when I record one more video today. Yeah, I think I will. Record a lot today. Been able to finally like kind of dig my teeth into the game after because the first few days we were recording, I was only doing like two videos a day. Um, but now that we were able to kind of establish a bit of a backlog and I got some some good free time for the next few days, we've really been able to dig our teeth into the game. It is very good. That's that's the that's the current verdict. Game very good. I'm Extra Trees87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye guys.